Hi, Will from Music Tech here at NAMM with Maxime from Orchestral Tools. We're looking at layers, Maxime. What exactly is layers? Well, layers is basically our first free instrument, uh, also using the sign player, so it's all brand new. It's really intended um, to, to be an easy to use working tool, kind of. And it's our new sound engine, actually. And so it's all orchestral, it's all recording the Teldex scoring stage uh, in Berlin. At Teldex uh, in Berlin, right, okay. Sure, it is. Yeah. And like, like our previous Berlin series, which all have always been recorded there, we try to give the opportunity to anyone just to get played, uh, just to get started with this uh, free library. So it's all recorded at Teldex. The sound is huge and anyone could get it. Let's listen to it then, shall we, Maxime? Sure, it'll be my pleasure. The samples that are in the uh, in the low velocity, or the, it, when you're bringing the, the modulation down, that's really nice. The, 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 the grittiness of it is really uh, sure obvious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in, in this case, you know, like the the idea behind layers was to show uh, to the producers out there, to the composers who use this library, how we you can like smoothly be, um, just like crossfit between the different layers. So um, obviously, we recorded several ones. We have a uh, really quiet, nicely, nicely sounding and pianissimo kind of type of uh, sample, sample set. Then we have a uh, typical mezzo forte and a fortissimo, so we try to cover like the entire dynamic range of the instruments. And they're always just like playing with one patch, so it's nothing like layered together. It's just like the, the full orchestra uh, minor sustains chord patch. And obviously, we have like much more than this one. So this kind of offers the kind of shows the the way that this library still is for free, but you ca you get like plenty of stuff. So it goes like from the full orchestra to the strings, brass, and woodwinds. Uh, you also have like instead of just having chords, you also have like a few staccato, a few sustains, so you can like uh, get your own uh, let's say uh, sound out of it. And not only pre-recorded chords, but of course single sustains, basically. Okay, let's hear some of that then, shall we? Sure, definitely. And uh, are you working through the different layers with the modulation wheel? Is that how you're doing it? Yes, right, absolutely, okay. absolutely. So this really like just kind of helps um, getting the sound completely alive, I'd say. And I'd say this is really important if um, like if people want to emulate some swells. Mm -hmm. uh, there are lo lots of libraries which offer these pre-recorded swells and they are not really flexible. People tend to bounce them first mm -hmm. and then you have to kind of place them the way, the way you want. There it's all dynamic, it all, it's all designed so as to be as flexible as possible. Okay. Uh, there I'll just like play with the with staccato unison patches, so it's still full orchestra. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will just like try a little bit with the um, with the sustains now because this was the full orchestra still, and I want to just show uh, how let's say just only the strings kind of work. Okay. Are these the same samples uh, that are layered up when you, when you played that one? Is it the same s string sample that we're going to be hearing now, but taken out of the the group? As it were. Uh, yes, basically they've been like combined together. Okay. So, uh, so you do have like the the full sound of everything, but because it's been all recorded uh, with the same microphones, the same setup, uh -huh. uh, like the same recording setup, same recording environment, it just sound everything are kind of really cohesive. So okay, this right. is just to show also like what the benefit is of using plenty of libraries which have been recorded in the same room. Got it. Because it all sounds like so you know as if they would actually be yeah cohesive. Uh, playing together yeah sure, right. definitely yeah. 
So in this case, I just like loaded the, um, the brass. So it's exactly the same brass setup as uh, the Junk XL one. So it's also a really good example of what you can achieve with the uh, brass recorder at Teldex with some same recording engineers and everything like that. Uh -huh. uh, in the Lice library, you have basically some uh, chords which have been recorded. You have the short ones as well as sustains. So I just like playing around with it. Uh, you can also change the articulations with like different with the different key switches. So you know something like this. If I just like switch back to the to the staccatos, I kind of you know you know just like randomly playing with this one mm -hmm. offers lots of potential. Of basically. course, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Maxime, for giving us that demonstration. Um, Layers is available when? Uh, it's available uh, since uh, today's, I guess. So everyone can just go to our website, orchestratools.com, and download it right away. So yeah, it's available for anyone. Um, it's for free, obviously. Just have fun with it. And thank you very much for having, uh, for having me here. Thanks very much, Maxime. Thanks Cheers, likewise. Cheers. For more videos, visit musictech.net. Thanks for watching.